Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday and welcome to Core Power Yoga Live. <laughs> Thanks for coming early, friends. My name is Samson. I'll be guiding you for the next 75 minute experience. Thank you so much for coming. Team, you are um, definitely welcome and also encouraged. So good to see you um, to uh, utilize the chat function. So looks like there are some of us piling in. If you wanted to type into the chat function where you're from, uh, that would be cool so that we can kind of see uh, the Core Power Yoga Nation where everybody's tuning in from today. I'm from Chicago. I'm here in Chicago. Carmen, hello from Boston. Thank you, Carmen, for sharing. Hello, sending love to Boston this morning. Happy Sunday, Boston. Hello, South Carolina. Rabbits2345, thanks for sharing. Yes, some South Loop love. Good to see you. Namaste, South Loop, Chicago. This is so fun. <laughs> So team, I just wanted to, um, again, say thank you for coming. And I think that what's great about this um, experience coming a little bit ahead of time is you can help me. So um, just give me a thumbs up, or I guess if it's like, you know, you can just write like, we gotcha, that you can see my full mat. I feel like you can see the full mat, good. A couple other things on the checklist, friends. I'm gonna scooch back. Today we're practicing sculpts, so you can utilize soup cans. And also, weights. Cool, so if you happen to have a set of at-home weights, use them. Totally okay if not. I grab two soup cans and we'll be interchanging between them. Let's see, who else is here? See me on the mat, thank you so much. It's like, <laughs> I, I can see it now that I realize, like just in the reflection, so I appreciate the teamwork. So for those of you who may be new to Yoga Sculpt, uh, this is a yoga practice rooted in Yoga Asana. Jesslyn, hello. Oak Park officially, congrats. Love you, Jesslyn. Hi, Jocelyn from Columbus. Thank you for tuning in. This is so exciting. So as I was saying, Yoga Sculpt is a practice rooted in Asana, and we will also have Kriyas and breath work in there. Um, and honestly, that's what the weights are or any of the repetitive movement that you may feel whenever you take a yoga sculpt class. And so I'm really honored to be able to share with you, honestly, how connected um, to yoga, something so fun and energizing as yoga sculpt can be. So thank you for joining. Kelly and Dana, friends from DeWitt, Michigan. Hello and namaste. <laughs> what up, Michigan? So everyone, Kelly and Dana, they are friends that I went to high school with and they're tuning in. So welcome to the Core Power Yoga fam, Kelly and Dana. Charles from Washington, DC. Jamie from DC, thank you for participating. <laughs> I said that because she said thank you for leading. So anyways. So friends, we have five minutes until uh, we get to start our, start our group connection. That's the timeline. I don't know, just kind of going through my brain, that's the perfect time to run and use the bathroom if you have to real quick. It's the perfect time to refill your water, which I will have to do uh, before we start. It's a great time to light an incense, light a candle, or scour through your pantry to find something to lift to add just a little bit of resistance to the yoga today. Nicole and Dom, thank you for joining from Ohio. Hi, Stephanie, welcome. Thanks for being here. Of course, Nicole. 
Lots of yogis from DC. I have a feeling it's because it's Sunday and it's 10 a.m. there. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Hopefully we're gonna get sweaty today, so remember a towel. Gotta grab a towel. Hi, Hannah from Denver. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Katie, thanks for the shout out. I miss you as well. It's amazing to see you. Welcome to the Core Power Yoga live stream. Amy, thank you. Northside Chicago, what, what? <laughs> Hi, Ben. It's good to see you, buddy. Namaste. Thanks for coming. <laughs> It's so fun. I, I really love the interactive part of this. And at the same time, like it's, it's, it's a really interesting experience just to talk to the camera. So know that every time you type in, uh, it kind of helps the level of connection with all of us. We're piling in everybody. We're uh, continuing to good morning, Joel. <laughs> um, we're piling in. So welcome. If you have just arrived, you've made it to Core Power Yoga Live. And team, we're gonna be practicing here. It's gonna bring the heat, bring the intensity from the inside out, um, as well as just kind of some connection from our virtual outside world in. And I'm so honored that you have decided to set aside some time and flow this morning. Amazing, everyone. We will officially start with our connection in three minutes. Today, we're gonna to start with just a little talk before we get into the, um, the practice, right? So. If you are on your phone, you can utilize your chat function. If you are on your computer, you can utilize your chat function. And um, as far as I'm aware, and I, I'm deaf, deaf no expert, but I think that the TVs, uh, you can't quite chat. So we'll keep it brief and you can journal. Greetings, Susan. Hello to Colorado. Good morning, Denver. All right, we have two minutes before we start with our live chat. I'm gonna refresh my water, BRB. Welcome everybody, that's amazing. We've had so many more yogis jump in, about 20 more since I went up and got some water. So welcome to the fam. So welcome to the fam. Okay, so depending on where you're at, uh, it is the top of the hour. So thank you so much officially for joining. Good morning, Amy. Uh, Amy. Sending you so much love over on the West Coast from the center of the country today. So team, I thought it would be really fun um, if we all, before we jumped into the practice, we are going to obviously move and sweat and honestly, like you can count down in your, in your room alone. You can yell out um, to your partner if you're doing this in, this in the house with whoever you're self-isolating with. And um, I wanted to share that the thing that I, I shared this um, last time I had the amazing opportunity to teach and it's been sitting with me for a while, which is this idea that Many of us, I know especially in the Core Power Yoga community, have really learned to love uh, the group connection of coming to a class. And there's something so magical, something so special about our studio experience. And right now we're in the world, I, I understand fully what it's like to open up your Instagram, open up your uh, YouTube, whatever it is, and see so many plethora of um, just a whole bunch of options of where you can practice yoga. and. Um, what I'm learning is that for me, live stream yoga, where we get to connect on a one-on-one -on -one basis, at least as close as possible to in-person, uh, is just as powerful of a connection as an in-studio experience. And honestly, um, so much more because we get to connect on a global um, and national level. 
So I would love to know um, from you one thing that you have learned about your yoga practice. And this is a gratitude practice. This is just about coming into awareness. So just by typing in one thing you have learned about your yoga practice in the past week or in the past 24 hours, uh, you're bringing your brain into that state of consciousness of ready to absorb the practice and ready to connect on a virtual level today. So friends, before we get moving, go ahead and reflect. You can type this in, you do not have to, but make a conscious choice and an effort to reflect one thing. What is one thing I have learned about my yoga practice in the past 24 hours or one thing I have learned about my yoga practice in the past week? And we'll sit on that for 30 seconds to a minute and then we'll get going. Many of you are already starting to share. I saw um, customization or moderation. I've seen from Katie meditation. That's, that's something that I'm learning again too. How much joy you can have with your dog. Here they come, Christy, that yoga is sustainable. Thank you for sharing. That your seven-year-old daughter, Stephanie, says crow. Thank you. Cynthia, that means the world. You've learned how much your yoga practice is vital in your life, and I think that all of us can relate. In challenge, we always have space to go deeper. Amy, thank you for sharing that, and <laughs> my heart is beating for you. I resonate with that. Yes, Ben, that I have a home practice. I'm learning that too. Seriously, I, I didn't, and I'm cultivating it. I'm learning it every day. Yoga and meditation, Jesslyn. Toddlers make great weight resistance. That's amazing. So if you grab, if you got a baby, pick them up. <laughs> All right, everyone. You have, of course, the entire next hour to share. At any point in practice today, if you have a question, jump on the chat function and type it in. We have Heather Peterson, our amazing yoga mentor. Um, I think the word is moderating this experience so she can answer your questions. I'll do my best to jump off the mat and come check on you as well. And we have other master trainers from across the country viewing and monitoring these comments. So please ask questions, whether it's about the theme of yoga, the experience in your body, whatever you have that you'd like to share. So team, it is 9.03 and it was my goal, at least in Chicago, it's 9.03. And it was my goal to get started at five after the hour with the actual movement. So thank you for sharing what you have learned so far in the past 24 hours or what you have shared or learned in the past week. Now it's time to grab your weights if you have them. If you don't, they're always optional anyways. So like that's just the same here. Um, I grabbed two cans of soup and two weights and I'll interchange between the two. Towel, mat, if you have it. But honestly, core power, all you need is yourself and a space and let's have some fun. All right, let's do this. It's officially five minutes past. So if you want to make it over to your mat, I'm going to change our soundtrack. <laughs> ben, I'm so glad you're excited. I'm excited too. Thank you all for being here. We are starting in child's pose. Oh, baby, child's pose. All right, strong humans. You made it to your mat. Welcome to your mat. Child's pose is a place where you can connect with your grounding energy. Draw your tippy toes together to touch. Widen your knees out. Crawl your hands forward. At any point in practice today, you have the opportunity to return here. Start to cultivate awareness of breath. Inhale, tabletop pose. Rise up to all fours. Pause and breathe here. Okay, so for um, our warm up today, take your hands to two open 45 degree angles. Lock your elbows out or keep a soft bend, but prioritize a straight arm. Shoulder floss, lower for two. Lift for two. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, lower. Okay, lifts. And just notice how good it feels to move your upper body in the morning. 
as you awaken the muscles that surround your beating hearts, notice what's happening with your breath. Okay, the intention or the mindfulness of this part of class is to move your breath and movement together. Okay, so full length of inhale and full length of exhale. Two more, team. Two. Final one right here. Tuck your toes to your mat. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. And keep your knees bent for this one. Okay, press your mat forward and down. Okay, lift your hips high. Take any motion that feels juicy, that feels good. And then firm your belly in and draw more space between your ribs and your hip creases. Inhale, hover your heel bones high, hug your calf muscles in. Exhale, hovering tabletop pose. Okay, so you always have the option to lower your knees back down. But wherever you are, squeeze your inner thighs back. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips again. Do that again, folks. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, hovering tabletop pose. Drag your chest muscles forward. Encourage your outer armpit muscles back to find stability in your upper spine as you strengthen your core. Breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Well done. Lift your heels up. Inhale. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Walk your feet directly behind your two wrists. And then take any motions that you like. You can crawl your fingers left and right. Totally great to bend one knee at a time. Wiggle out your toes, relax your head heavy. And now everyone interlace your fingers at your low spine. Chest expansion, breathe in. Exhale, encourage your grip, your basket grip towards the front of your mat. Draw some space into your outer shoulders. Okay, feel length kind of find its way into the back of your hamstrings. Together, all of us breathe in. Exhale, forward fold, relax your hands down. Okay, motivate your feet together to touch right here. Take a little bit of space between your two heels. Bend your knees. Slow and controlled, inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Okay, allow your head to be the last thing to lift. Then everyone, guide your palms down. So maybe you're standing in some sunlight. Maybe you're standing in um, the light that is produced by the light bulbs in your space. But feel some light start to resonate on your heart. And then notice how that can inspire a sensation of connection. Inhale, mountain pose, guide your hands up. Exhale, standing at attention or equal standing pose. Connect your thumbs together at your heart. And hang out here. For me, I know yoga is all about connection. And this live stream experience, at least the benefit that I'm learning over this past week, is the power of connecting um, with those that are not in our physical space. So set the intention of connection for someone outside of this room. Know that your practice, your vibration, and your light, uh, they will feel it, team. They will connect with you. So send them some love. Deep breath in. Fill up. Share it. Open mouth. Exhale. Let something go. Again, breathe in. Big breath out. Let something out. Yes. Inhale. Mountain pose. Drag your hands up. Pause and breathe for this first one. Okay, lift your chest higher than you usually do. Feel proud. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Press your palms together, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Let's go to the thighs. Press your palms onto your thighs. Now draw your tippy toes forward, or your weight into your tippy toes. Squeeze your elbows up. That'll turn on the outside of your rib muscles. Breathe in. Exhale, squat and curl. Lift your heels. Hug yourself here. Okay, dig your chin into your throat, and then use the strength of your biceps to squeeze any space between your inner thighs. Get nice, small, and connected. Inhale, high plank. Climb your legs back. Pause and breathe right here. So at any time you're in high plank, you have the option, of course, for your knees. So I'll take that here. 
Let every single one of us drop your hips and guide your chest forward. Yay, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Let's unite breath to movements. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Let it feel good. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Yes, inhale, halfway lift, breathe up. Exhale, squat and curl, nice and small, squeeze. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog with your hips. Let's keep going, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Woo. Inhale, halfway lift, strengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain, squeeze your legs together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, breathe up. Exhale, high, or rather squat and curl, squeeze. Inhale, high plank pose. Exhale, down dog, press your mat forward. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, squat and curl. Feel space in your spine. Inhale, high plank. Hold here. All right, so tone your thighs in. Remember, you have the option for your knees if you need them. But every single one of us, press into your mat to fire up your chest muscles. Nice, now firm your outside obliques in and let that suction cup the center points of your two hips together as well. Breathe in, exhale, high to low plank, first one. Inhale, upward facing dog, pause and breathe here. Okay, press your hands flat, tone your thighs, lift your chest up and forward. Breathe in, exhale, downward facing dog. Good, that's most of our warm up team. Breathe in, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Clear something more. Exhale, chair plane. Guide your hands back. Squeeze your shoulder blades to open the front of your chest. And now everyone, deepen your seats. Let your thighs start to feel the weight of your upper body. Lift your wrists higher to turn on your triceps. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, listen, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose again. Exhale, airplane arms, move. Inhale, single leg, guide your left leg high. Hold and breathe here. Press down to your foot, then lift your chest higher. Flip your palms back to open your heart. Gorgeous, inhale. Exhale, press your lunge, airplane arms. Take your time to get there. Scoot your back leg back, reach your chest behind you, or your arms behind you, your chest forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Whew. Hi everyone, there you are. I kind of missed you facing the front of my mat. Okay, so squeeze your right knee directly above your ankle, and then guide your arms out. Send your gaze over your front finger. All of your muscles are playing here, so squeeze everything into the bone. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your front hand directly up. You can take your back hand with your elbow in to prep for your weight. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, single leg plank. Pause and breathe. You have the option for your bottom knee. Wherever you are, drill your right heel back. Dial your pinky toe down. Breathe in. Knee to opposite tricep squeeze. Squeeze, extend. Good, squeeze. Extend, squeeze, extend. Use your breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Yes, team. I'm gonna give us just a little bit of volume here. Cool? Just a little bit more. I hope that's okay. Here for four, three, hold, single leg plank, and two, hold, add a tiny pulse. It's up, up, up. Here's your breath, strong humans. Exhale, exhale. Exhale, four more, I know. Four, three, down dog, and two, one. Woo. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. 
Doing great. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, single leg mountain, guide your right leg high. Pause and breathe. Draw your inner thighs towards one another, even though your legs are apart. Lift your chest high. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms, take your time. Amazing. Now, squeeze your right back leg hamstring up. Guide your chest forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Take some time. Get adjusted here to find more comf uh, comfortable level in your hips. Guide your right toes in. Stack your left knee directly on your ankle. Separate your arms. Inhale, reverse warrior. Prioritize space in your ribs. Feel your left hip tip pull up. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, single leg plank. Option for your knee. Wherever you are, pause and breathe first. Dial your hip down. Take your knee to opposite elbow crunch. Let's go. Crunch, extend. Crunch, extend. Here it is. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Pull your belly in. Knit your ribs together. Find length between your chin and your chest. Four more strong humans. Four, Woo. three. Hold it back in two. Good. One. Hold it here. Little pulse, 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 pulse. Just four. Three. Down dog in two. One. Good. Yes. Inhale. Gaze forward. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Fold. Grab your weights or your soup. Inhale. Chair pose. Exhale. Airplane arms. Hang out here, people. Tiny little pulls. Lift up, 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 up. Now everyone, the higher you lift your wrists, the more of a concentric contraction you pull into the upper part of your tricep. Allow the back line of your body to fully strengthen. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Single leg mountain with your left leg up. Pause and breathe for this one. Drill down. Lift your chest. Exhale, airplane arms. Good job. You always have your opportunity to lower your back knee down. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Move your weights through your shoulders. Inhale, reverse warrior. Punch your front weight directly up. Exhale, low lunge. Set your weights to the side. Inhale, single leg plank. Cross body crunch right away. Let's move. Squeeze, center, squeeze. Seven. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Just four, three. There's music, good. Two down dog is next. Whew. One down dog, good work. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Move your weights up. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, single leg mountain pose. Hold and breathe this one. Just notice what it feels like to feel connected. Your bottom foundation foot all the way up to your right grip on your waist. Inhale, exhale, crescent lunge. Airplane arms, take your time. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Move your waist through center and up. Inhale, reverse. Punch your weight directly high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, single leg plank, hold or add the crunch. Crunch, extend, crunch, extend. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Four more, four, whoo, three. Down dog in two, down dog in one. Exhale, down dog, good work. Let's take it again. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, single leg mountain. Pause and breathe. Goal post to your arms. Chest press. Press, open, press, open. Good. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Eight more. Eight, seven. Stabilize your thighs. Six, 
five, back to single leg, in four, Woo. three, that's so good, two, single leg, one, press up, exhale, press and lunge, airplane arms, take your time, now drop your weights down, narrow rows, right here, strong people, lift, lower, lift, lower, gorgeous, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, allow your weights to feel heavy on the way down, and heavy on the way up. You can go one arm at a time. You have the opportunity to lower to your back knee. Choose the option that helps you feel connected to the movement. Full range of motion wins here. All the way up, all the way down. Eight, seven, whoo, six, five. Fire up in your front leg, four. Gorgeous, three. Crescent lunge in two. One, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, spiral up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Listen, inhale, single leg plank. Pause and breathe. And then drop down to your left knee. Inhale, modified side plank. Reach your right arm high. And then option for side body crunch. Pull your knee to elbow. And exhale, good. Exhale. Exhale, option for your bottom forearm. Eight, seven, six, five, straight through your sides. Four, three, down dog. And two, yes, one, down dog. I can feel it. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose with your weights. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, single leg mountain pose. Pause and breathe. Lower your elbows. Basic chest press right here. Let's go. Squeeze. Open. Squeeze. Open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Here it is. Eight. Like your shoulders work. Seven. Six. Five. What helps you feel connected? Four. Your breath. Three. Two, single leg. Inhale, single leg. Exhale, press and lunge. Airplane arms. Press your weights back. Drop your weights down. Palms face forward. Rows. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Notice the change with your palms forward. For many of us, it's a little bit more of a bicep engagement. Okay, so feel it heavy on the way down. Eight, just keep breathing and moving. Seven, gorgeous, six, five, crescent lunge in four, three, crescent lunge in two, Woo. one, inhale, crescent, exhale, warrior two. I think I'm on the wrong leg. I think I opened up the wrong leg one time. So do the opposite. Inhale, reverse warrior, exhale, low lunge. Inhale, single leg plank, scoop your back leg up. You can stay here or drop to your knee. Inhale, modified side plank. Lift your leg and arm up. Side crunch. Squeeze, squeeze, extend. There it is. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Friends, I'm just checking in. Eight, seven, keep it up, six, Five, I feel your core power. Four, three, good job. Two, down dog in one, down dog. Lift your hips, inhale, gaze forward. Come down to your knees. Grab your weights, press them above you. If you need some support on your knees, use a towel or you can stand on your feet. Start at 90 degrees, tricep extensions. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Amazing, just keep moving. So your triceps are obviously the opposite side of your bicep, so there's some connection there. Now you can tell your biceps it's okay to turn off, all right, and let the weights feel heavy, really close to your elbow points. Eight, Woo. seven, keep it up, six, five, whole half and four, Pull half in three, pull half in two. Yes, hold right there. 
Now everyone, wrap your elbows forward. Lift your chest higher. Firm up your belly. Knit your ribs together. Pulse it up. 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 Oh, yeah. Exhale. 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 Good. Here for eight. I know. Seven. Six. Five. Get it. Get it. Four. Three. High plank. In two. One. Gorgeous. High plank pose. Lock your belly in. You can stay here or alternating knee to opposite elbow crunch. Crunch, center, crunch. Crunch, center, crunch. Exhale, 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 exhale. Keep it up. Stabilize through your side bodies. Prioritize your hips low and strengthen your upper chest. Four, three, yes, two. To your knees, one, to your knees. Grab your weights, press them up again. Same thing, bicep extensions, lower, lift, lower, good job. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. When you're moving through your weights, when you drop one, that's a celebration. Good, so if it's time to drop one, go for it. Woo. The good news is this is a lot of high rep stuff. Cool, so if you're using soup cans or lighter weights than you're used to, just keep moving, you will benefit the exact same. Here for eight, whoo, I know, seven, six, five, four, three, two, high plank in one, high plank, good job. Mountain climbers, go, hit, 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 hit. So allow your breath to flow freely. Know that you can go back to that first layer of the cross body crunch. Allow the music to be your driver. If you're going for cardio, move um, in a space where you feel your heart beat a little higher than you want to. When you connect, that you are in charge of that level of endurance. I know this is a long set. Okay, you remember you're in control. Four, three, to your knees, to your knees, and two, one, to your knees. Stay with it, strong humans. Press your weights up. I know. Tricep extensions. Lift. Lower. Let's go. Exhale. Woo. Exhale. Woo. So I learn every single day to trust that my connection on my mat is enough. Remember to guard your heart and honor where you're at today. Eight. Seven. I know. Six. Five, almost there. Four, three, two. Let's take it down. High plank hold. High plank hold. You have the opportunity for your knees, like I'm showing here. You have the opportunities for your forearms. Just breathe. We know as yogis and also as humans that when we learn. We get to connect the dots. Two. So I lost connection and now it's back. I hit reconnection. Are we good, everyone? Are we good? All right, so make it up to your mat. Basic squats right here. Press down to your heels. Draw your chest forward. Basic squats. Let's go. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, yes. Madeline says, we are so good. Yes, we're back. Hopefully the sweat's dripping off you like it is for me. Thank you for sharing your comments. We are in this together. Team, if you are tuning in again, we're back to the basic squats. Halfway through the set, eight, uh-huh. Every other gets a count, seven. Woo. Six more for power, six. Five more, five. Four more, four. Hold low, three. Hold low right here in two. Hold low right here, hold. Tiny little pulses, drop down, 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 down. Exhale, 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 exhale. Allow your weight into the top of your quads. Cool, now notice if you can diminish some of the range of motion here. Eight, seven, six, 
five, hold still in four, three, two, hold. Usually when your body gets totally still, your mind starts to race. This is where you get to drill connection. Connect your heartbeat to your mind chatter. Connect your sweat to your endurance. Okay? And connect this hour of practice to something greater in the day. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Left leg back, lunge it out. In two, one. Lunge and squat. Down, hook, squat. Nice and slow. Down, same leg. Squat, same leg. Down, down. Good job. Reverse lunge. Reverse lunge. Four more. Four. Woo. Three more. Three more. Three amazing, everyone. Two. Yay. Keep it up. Last set. Other leg right here, right now. Take it back. Go down, nice and slow, control, back, go down, good work, lower, 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 keep it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, basic squats, in three, come on, I know, two, Woo. one, basic squats, down, up, Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Let your toes be flat. Spiral your inner thighs back. Pull your navel in. Press your palms if you grab into your chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Butt kickers in two. One right here, right now. Hit, hit. Hip. Shake it out. Woo. In cardio, you can keep your toe on the mat. Pick a version. Yes. This is your base layer. Get grounded. Let your breath flow freely. Four. Three. Jumping jacks in two, and one right here. Up, 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 up. This is what it looks like with less impact. Cool. Take up space on your mat. Keep it up. Eight, seven, six, five. Horse pose in four, three. Horse in two. One horse pose, hold. Down, up, inhale, exhale. You can diminish range of motion. Good. Do not worry of stacking your shoulders above your hips. Throw your butt back to get to your outside glutes. Friends, we're working hard today. Four, three, two, Hold low, one, hold low. Side lunge, parallel your feet, side lunge. Throw your butt back, guide your chest forward. Side lunge, side lunge. Inhale, inhale, exhale. Woo. Squeeze your opposite legs, inner thigh, as you stand up. Four, three, Hold to the front of your mat in two, one. Hold to the front of your mat here. Shift body weight onto your toes, side highs, and let's go. Hit, 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 hit. Good. Exhale, 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 exhale. Four, three, two, hold. Balance on your leg. Strengthen your bottom glute. Four, let it burn. Three, side lunge in two. One, side lunge, other side, side heismans right here, let's go. Hip, 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 exhale, 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 good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, hold in two, hold. Straighten your bottom leg. Breathe through the bottom butt cheek. Let it stabilize you. Solidify your core. Four, three, two, back to lunge, one, like this. Out, in, out, in, exhale, exhale. Take up space, get big, get small, big, small, yes. If you're anything like me, your heart is racing. Hang on to that sensation. Four, three, to the back of your mat, butt kickers in two, one, back of your mat right here. Kick, kick. Let something out if you're at home. It's a woo, it's an oh yeah, it's an ooh baby. Breathe through it. Four, three, jumping jacks. And two, back to the camera. One, jumping jacks, let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, to the front. And four, three, two, one, to the front. Kick, I know. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, chair pose. One, keep your feet wide. Hold. Controlled little jump squats. Lift, land. Lift, land. Exhale. Exhale. Keep it up. Exhale. Exhale. Four more. That's it. Four. Woo. Three. Two. Step touch one. Step touch. Good job. Yes. Take your hands to your hips or behind your ears. Enjoy this. Remember your connection. Team, you're doing amazing. Deep breath in, mountain pose. Exhale, chair plane pose. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Take control. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, table, top pose. Good job, everyone. Grab a towel, wipe up, a little bit of water. Cheers, folks. Make sure your weights or your cans are towards the front side of your mat. Grab one weight in one hand. Let's go with your left hand. It's a narrow row, lower, kick, lower. Row, lower, kick, lower. Here's your breath. Exhale, exhale. Good job. Exhale. Exhale. Keep moving through this transition. Lift. Lower. Kick. Dial your inner thigh back. Graze your elbow by your ribs. Amazing, team. Eight. Woo! Seven. Six. Five. We're just going to pulse the arm in four. Three. Just the arm in two. Hold, add a pulse right here. Little up, little down, little up, little down. Exhale, exhale. Eight, seven, keep it up. Six, five, good job. Four, three, hold up in two. Just hold still, hold. Even though you are still, your body is craving the stillness. Allow your heart to take in the movement. Let it be quickly. And then once you have that awareness, it'll begin to slow. Here for four. Lift higher, three. Other side in two. One, good job, good job. Place your hand down, switch it out. Row and kick team. Row, lower, kick, lower. Row, lower, kick, lower. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Good, lift. Lower, hang on to it. Hook, down, hook. Here's your count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pulse just to your arm in two, one. Pull the arm up and pulse. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, exhale. Eight, seven, six, five. Hold up in four, 
three, two, go. Woo. Pull your belly in. Let this be about your back versus your twisting muscles right now. Four, three. Do an amazing team. Two, one. Set your weight down. Good job. This next one, you have layers. You can stick to your knee to opposite arm cross or add a full twist. So option one is cross and hold. Cross and hold. Option two is to do this from a tabletop and add a twist. Twist, hover, kick. So this is where you hold. It's a little bit of a side plank. Again, tap, hover, kick through. Take your hand to your ears. Go up and we'll just alternate. Tap, hover, kick. Let's go. Tap, hover, kick, other side. Tap, hover, kick, other side. Tap, hover, kick, uh-huh. Tap, hover, kick. We're still together. Tap, hover, kick. This is the peak of your class. Call on your obliques. Four. Three more. Three. Hang on to it, team. Final two. One more. Then give yourself a round of applause. One. Woo. Take a break right there. Good job. Take your hands to your strong heart. Just hold. Ask yourself what role connection plays in your practice right now. And may that curiosity, not even necessarily the answer, but the curiosity of being interested be enough to fuel you to the next chunk of practice. Together, breathe in. Woo. Exhale, downward facing dog. We do not have long here. Inhale your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Grab your weights. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, wide arm row. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, you have the opportunity to lower to your bottom knee for support. Eight, this is quick team. Seven, six, we won't be here for long. Five, just keep moving. Four, three, crescent lunge and two, one, inhale, press in. Exhale, warrior two, good job. Pull your elbows in. Now shift yourself forward, but stay connected in the back foot. Lower your weights, bicep curls. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, exhale, keep moving, lift. Commit to the bend of your front knee. At the same time, press down through your back heel for support. Now what happens if you let your weights feel heavier on the way down? Eight, seven, keep it up, six. You're working hard, team. Five, four, three, reverse warrior, and two, one. Pivot back, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, down dog kick. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay with it, left leg high, breathe it up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, press it, lunge. Press your weights high. Drop your weights down. This time, palm face forward. Rows. Pull. Pull. Here's your breath. Exhale. Now, squeeze your weights, your heads of your weights, or the tops of your hands at the front. That'll squeeze the center of your chest muscle in. Here for four, three. Feel it right there. Squeeze. Two. Good. Crescent lunge. One. Breathe in. Exhale. Warrior two. You're doing amazing. Pull your weights in. Pivot forward. Bicep curls. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Exhale. Exhale. This is the grand finale team. Lift. Woo. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, reverse warrior, and two, Woo. one, inhale, reverse, exhale, low lunge, 
Inhale, down dog, kick. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. And take a seat. Yes, if it's okay with you, we're finishing this practice on your mat. So press down to your feet. Lay all the way down. Cinch your inner thighs. Reach your fingers back. Basic crunch to start, team. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Good, exhale, exhale. All the way up, all the way down. This is the first time you have felt what it feels like to have your spine, the long, strong spine on your mat. To notice it as it lays back down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. For more intensity, carve your tailbone up as you lift your chest. Whew. This is good so far, just keep moving. <laughs> lift, lower, lift. Eight, four, eight, seven. Keep it up, six, five. Hold up on one, four, three. Hold up in two. Here, hold, hands forward, pulse. Up, up, up. Find your breath. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Stay here for longer than you want to. If you help you tickle your calf muscle with each one of these lifts, go for it. Hang on to it. Eight. Every other team. Seven. Cut a six. Five. Almost there. Four. Hold still in two, I know, yes, hold. Pull your ribs in, guide your tailbone up and forward. Squeeze your thighs together, soften your neck. Four, three, two, one, legs up the wall. Rope climbers, reach, 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 reach. Exhale, 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 good. Your body could probably feel it, but this is the final stretch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pick a side and pulse in two. Hold, pulse it here, little up, little down, up. Exhale, exhale, eight. Seven, six, five, other side, and four, three, two, other side right here. Up, up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, keep going. Four, three, back to basic crunch team. Lift, this time legs up the wall. Lift, lower, exhale, gorgeous, exhale. Eight more, eight. Seven, six, five. I'm right there with you. You are not alone. Four, three. We are all in this together. That's why we are connected. We are reaching our edge as one team. Hold up. Hold. Breathe. Peel your shoulder blades off. Reach your fingers forward. Challenge yourself. Eight, seven. I know. Six, five, four, three. Hug in into. One, hug your knees right there. Good job. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Whew. Couple movements of your legs and your hips. Amazing, everyone. Draw your soles and feet together and allow your knees to flop open. Take your left hand, place it on your heart. Take your right hand, place it on your belly. Your one job right now is to breathe deeply. Just keep breathing.
about three more breaths to ground down, start to centralize and neutralize your nervous system. your ankle onto your thigh. Okay, supine figure four, supine half pigeon. Pull your knee in. Breathe in, exhale, supine figure four, opposite side. Utilize the strength of your arms to both deepen the stretch, but also provide stability. Inhale, exhale, happy baby. Grab onto the outside edges of your feet or you can go right behind your knees. Send your left leg out long. And then team, straighten your right leg up. Flex your toes back, breathe in. And exhale, supine twist. Make a goal post with your arm. Prioritize the release of your chest first, and then let go of your belly. Inhale, come back to middle, unravel your spine. Send your right leg out long, snuggle your left knee to your outer ribs, breathe in, fill up. So good, exhale, supine twist. Straighten your leg if you did so before, guide it over. Inhale your knee back up to middle. Then final little squat and curl, but on your spine, hug everything in. Draw your chin into your throat, breathe in. Exhale, resting pose. Two minutes here this morning. And I'll guide you out when it's time. Deepen your breath. We 
wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take a big stretch on your mat. Roll over to one side or the other. And press yourself up to a seat. Sit comfortably. breath in, guide your hands up, think mountain pose, reach high, and then pull your thumbs in together at your heart. Keep your eyes closed or just soft. Um, I thought I'd share that for me, I always feel the most connected to others, uh, truly when I'm learning something. And there are people um, here in this virtual classroom today that I went to high school with. And for those of you and everyone, think of those of your friends you learned some of your basics with and the connections that that built for you. There are many people in this room that uh, we did teacher training together or you did teacher training with fellow Omis in this space. Take a moment to honor the connection that you have with them as a result of learning yoga together. And then revisit with this one thing that you are learning right now, this week or in the past 24 hours. And notice how we are not alone. We are in this together and we are connected through this self-study or in yoga, it's known as Svedyaya. Uh, that we are sort of um, forced into right now. We connect deeply when we take on challenge and learn as one. Draw your thumbs up to the space between your eyebrows. And bow forward. Namaste. Thank you all. Whew, that was such a workout. <laughs> sculpt is no joke. And so if you have questions about Yoga Sculpt and want to type them in, I'm sure you've been doing that a lot throughout this class. Know that we will answer them for you. Uh, that concludes the asana or the physical practice. Know that you can come back at uh, 1 p.m. Mountain Time to practice with Heather Peterson and then 6 p.m. Mountain Time to practice with Anthony Chavez and then we will be here three days or three classes per day um, all week long. We also have yoga on demand for free for all of humanity so please take it. Um, you can go and take all of the uh, classes that you want so if you have nothing on your to-do list today take yoga all day long if you want. Thank you, Elise. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, your core is done, Stephanie. Mine too. <laughs> I'm definitely the kind of person who, when I teach sculpt in the studio, it's like not a lot of demos. So I was right there with you today. We did it together. Thank you for joining me in my home practice, which I'm cultivating. Katie, thank you for showing up strong. Namaste, good to see you. Omish Katromi, namaste, good job. <laughs> Sending Atlanta all the love. Holly, I needed it too, I feel amazing. Friends, all this love is so amazing. Yes, Dana, sending some hometown love. Joyce, thank you for joining. Emily, good work. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Namaste, Joel.
You're the best. You inspire me. Hannah, I love that feeling. That feeling of getting exactly what you need every time you leave your mat. It's like you never regret doing yoga. You know what I mean? So thank you for joining. So team, it is officially 10 o'clock, which means if you'd like to stay, uh, we're going to switch into our 15 minutes of meditation. So I'll draw um, the music down and just start to um, kind of build off of what we played with on, I believe it was Thursday. On Thursday, um, I played you this beautiful instrument. It's the harmonium. You can see it here. And honestly, Gracie, it's good to hear from you. Thank you. Um, honestly, the harmonium, it connects me to my heart. And I know that we're all on different timelines with, with our at-home study right now. And for me, I'm about a week in. And the vibration that I'm getting with the harmonium is just connecting me to uh, the universe truly. So what I'd like to do today is guide you through a couple of breaths. And of course, the benefit of breath work is it balances out your nervous system, kind of pulls you into that recovery zone directly out of your high energy physical yoga sculpt. And uh, then the vibration of kirtan or any vibration, especially acoustic, is going to amplify that state of rest. Truly, your one job right now is just to sit and absorb uh, the amazing vibration. Okay, so I'll try and readjust this now that the practice is done so you can see how cool the instrument is because it's just so cool. <laughs> Let's see. There it is. I just got a new tripod and it's um, giving me some new angles to work with. But this is it, it's very similar to a piano. So sit up tall and close your eyes. I'll start with just about five minutes, max three minutes maybe of breath. Sit up tall. Before you change your breath, after all that cardio, just notice. Allow your breath to move freely. Sit up taller. Let your spine rest in your hips. Allow your neck and head to rest right over your middle spine. Begin to take just a little bit of control over your breath, enough so that it changes slightly. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Continue to breathe with this rhythm. It's a really good chance that your body could still be in some fight or flight uh, just as a result of the practice, all the virtual connection. But notice how with every exhale, you are turning up the state of relaxation, dialing up the state of allowing permission, surrender. And I invite you to just find one mantra. And in meditation, mantra is just something to bring you back, uh, just to remind you that mind chatter is normal. It's natural, in fact, it's good. And then when you find uh, that you need a little reminder to focus, you can say this mantra to yourself. I always use a mantra, inhale I and exhale, whatever word I feel will benefit. So today it's connect. 
You have the next two minutes to breathe naturally. Allow your brain to fluctuate. And when you benefit from the mantra, you feel that you need a little focus, give yourself that gentle reminder. I connect. Notice if you judge when your mind waters and see if you can just replace that with a little bit of curiosity and joy. One more minute. Let this mantra become bigger and louder and all the distraction, your senses uh, start to dial down. You can continue to sit and breathe here. I'll play for you um, vibration. You can just enjoy the healing benefits Sit up tall, literally all you have to do is listen. Breathe out. Again, inhale. Exhale. This is for the sound of O. Breathe in. One more. 
more together. Inhale. In the next 30 seconds, reminisce with what you are learning today in this home practice. I want to thank you for joining me in my home practice today uh, because I am learning how to have a home practice right now. Yoga through the concept of self-study, reminds us that when we are learning, uh, we are truly on the same wavelength. Just like when we sounds beautiful on the harmonium, we're all doing the same movement in yoga sculpt uh, with those around us. So if you are alone in your bedroom or in your kitchen, you have these live streams to come and be with others virtually. And then the upgrade, the takeaway is that when we're with others virtually, that connection lets what we're learning stick. So many of you shared that you're learning meditation, you're learning home practice, you're learning, learning how vital your yoga practice is that was shared. Hopefully just with this group intention setting these learnings that we're all taking in uh, will stay with us. So to seal your learnings in, whether it's from this past week or the past 24 hours or this morning that we have spent together, draw your thumbs together to your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Draw your thumbs up to the space between your eyes. Thank you for studying yourself and showing up in the presence of others this morning. Bow forward. Namaste. Namaste, Core Power Yoga. This was so fun, so special. Thanks for sweating and working. I will give us uh, just a little bit of exit music. And um, if you have any last thoughts, please share. We can hang out for another moment or two. Ricky, big heart. I love you. I see you. We are in this together. Thank you. Shout out if you're coming to HP or Heather Peterson C2 at 1 p.m. I'll be there on my mat right there with you. Emily, namaste. Namaste, Heather. Madeline, it's good to hear from you. Thank you for sharing. Big love, big love, my friend. Namaste. Shkatroma, namaste. Thank you for coming.
Namaste, Adrian. Thank you. So team, uh, remember that we are here three times a day, or yeah, three times a day. And uh, we'll be back, right, on this same link. This is the link, you already have it, so bookmark it, share it with all your friends. Thank you, Mary, thanks for coming. And we will be back at 1 p.m. Mountain Time with Heather Peterson for C2. With that, I'm going to leave you. Have fun recharging, hydrate. Thank you so much for joining Core Power. Na-ma-stay. Bye, everyone.